Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I watched the Oscars the other night and I loved how everybody looked. They looked beautiful, youthful, glowing, and subtle. And I love that. And I don't often do that because here I feel like you might get bored if I just do subtle makeup all the time. So I play around and I show you a bunch of different colors and looks. I love it. And I got false lashes on. I can't believe it. I could always put false lashes on other people, but on myself I find it very difficult. And I got it on fairly easy today. To get this eyeshadow look, I used the new makeup by Mario. What is this? The Master Mattes. Master Mattes the Neutrals. What a funny way to do it. Ooh, I already have this dirty. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I like it. So I'm gonna show you how I got this look using that palette. I used a Patrick Ta blush and what else? It doesn't matter what else, I love the look and you're gonna see what else I used. If you're not new here, thank you so much for returning. I appreciate you so much. If you are new here, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit, just a little bit. I hope that by watching my videos, it will help inspire you to try new things, to not worry so much about the fine lines and the wrinkles and the skin that moves as we apply makeup. You gotta laugh, we're all going through it and we're getting a really nice community here. I love the community that is here on my channel. I am i can't stop talking about it and I hope that if you enjoy this video and you resonate with this energy that you will subscribe and hit the notification bell. Join us on our lives, I say us, it's me, but it's us because you're in the chats and everybody's getting to know each other. Everybody's sending love to everybody. I'm saying everybody a lot. I'm so thrilled with the positivity and the love that's in the chats and in the comments and I hope you can join us. So you know, I think I may go live on Thursday nights and Sundays. I'm not sure. Seems like Thursday nights might work better for some people and Sundays work better for others. So I haven't decided yet that might be a little bit much but I don't want any of you to miss out. This is a safe place for us women to gather together, share our stories, get to know each other, support each other, and I would love for you to join us. It's a good group. All the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you. If you're on your phone, you have to look underneath and there you'll see some writing and you just have to click on that writing and there will be a drop down box. Let me know if you need help with that. I do share links for both US and Canada when I can and I have Amazon US and Canada as well. I have the Like to Know It app. Every time you use my links, it does provide me with a small commission which helps support my channel. I'm so grateful if you do. If you're gonna buy it anyways, it's free for you and it helps me out, but no pressure. I'm just so grateful that you're here. And that being said, let's get on with the video. I placed an order with Sephora. Let me see what I got. I can't remember. I do remember one. I can't get this open. I am excited. That is right up my alley, especially that color. It's Master Matte's The Neutrals. I don't know why I was thinking it was more cool, but it's definitely not warm, so that's good. I also ordered three of the Patrick Ta blushes. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use today. I hear everybody talking about them, and I haven't tried any. I ordered She's Flushed, just enough and not too much. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use though. Oh, I'm, I went right crazy with blush. I also got the Bosma, the cream blush. I ordered Summer Fridays lip balm and that's it. I feel better today. I self tanned and I always feel a little bit better with color. My hair's a mess, don't mind me. I'm gonna prep my skin with the MAC Hyper Real Serumizer. I'm loving this, as you know under makeup. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. This is the 101, but it's travel size. It works. I do like longer handle brushes. I don't know why. It's the artist in me, I think. So I'm gonna just pounce that on. Does that match? Might be a little bit dark, actually. I could have mixed two colors. Is this the way this video is gonna go? <laughs> is there ever gonna be an easy, no, that's too dark. Okay, taking it off. I do have a solution to this problem. There goes my skin prep. Okay, let's try this again. So I am going to mix number eight and number five together. See if I can get my proper match this time. That's better, right? This is gonna look good, I promise. <laughs> I 
Oh, my kids are home. Yep. I always compare my face to the rest of my body and it was looking a little bit too dark. So in order to fix that, I went in with a concealer. This is a Fenty concealer, anything will do. It actually would have been nice to use something with a little less coverage to make this happen in the areas like underneath my cheek and my forehead so that it wouldn't look like I had too much makeup on. It worked out in the end. You'll be able to see that once I blend everything in, some of the lightness matches some of the lightness that you see on my skin around the neckline. So I'm happy with the way this turned out. Sorry I stopped talking, I got in the zone. All right, so let's see what the difference is between the two. So this is the Master Mattes and this one is the neutrals. And my eye automatically goes to this one. I don't wear these colors as often, although I love that this has a black and they are so richly pigmented, easy to blend, really pretty. I don't think I've heard anyone say anything bad about his eyeshadows. Before I get started, I did pick up these. These are the Summer Friday Lip Balms, Lip Butter Balm. I got one color in Birthday Cake. Let's see if it has any color. I kind of feel like it's not gonna have a lot of color. Ooh, it does smell good though. Uh, that smells like buxom, just a little bit. And then this one is vanilla beige, and this does have more color to it. I'll put birthday cake on for now. Well, that's nice and smooth. No stick, no gloopiness. I kind of want to try the other one on. Hold on. I'm curious before I get all the rest of my makeup on. Oh. Oh. I actually like this one better because it adds just a touch of something but not too much. I'm leaving that on. I'm going to start off with this color first. I wanna do a subtle look today, maybe. I always say that and then I build it up because I'm afraid it's gonna be boring for you, <laughs> to be honest. I don't want you to think, why have I even come here? I was watching the Oscars the other night and I was seeing all the beautiful makeup and everybody looks so natural. It wasn't about the makeup, it was just clean skin, fresh looking, beautiful framed eyes. And I really liked that. This was a 202 and I'm gonna take a 212. I'm gonna go into this color right here. I just want that light wash. They are going on super easy. Plus I'm using a fluffy brush, which is gonna make it go on nice and diffused. Whatever's left on that brush, I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit. Give my eye a little lift. Let me do my brows before I do anything else. Wish me luck, cause these have been a problem or I've been the problem. Okay, I'm happy with those. I'm not gonna touch them again. That's it. In my last video, I was obsessed over my eyebrows. Now I am going to use a BK Beauty 211. Each one of these has a different shape. I've just switched it up a little bit. Can you see that one is a little fluffier, a little bigger than the middle one? And now I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna go into this color right here. So, so far I've used this one, this one, and this one. Oh, look at that. I got the dad, the mom, and the two kids. See? 
it's a whole family. I'm gonna go back into this color and I'm gonna take it under here and give it a nice shadow. It's small but still fluffy, so it's not gonna be a harsh line or a harder line. It's gonna keep it nice and soft. into the first one and I don't want anything too stark is that what I wanted I kind of liked it that you didn't see that light mm. I think I liked it better before for this look hang on go back to that middle one yeah so I'm dipping back into this one again so it's not so bright. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that. So if I'm wanting to have a natural mascara, what will I use? I really do like YSL for that because it's nice and fluffy, but let me see what else I have. I'm actually gonna use e.l.f. This is the lash and roll. Let's see if this works. I think I lost my curl already. This is my droopy eye. Oh, it's been through it today. I've had so many drops in this eye. I may attempt false lashes, but I might be sorry. I might throw the F-bomb and have to bleep myself right out. I'm horrible at it, on me. Since I've been having eye issues, I haven't been using my lash serum and I'm really noticing. I'm gonna leave that alone. Be a lot easier if I tinted my eyelashes. That is something I have to do soon. I did order the milk blush, but I think I'm gonna wait for another video because I'm loving this look. I'm loving how clean it is and I'm afraid to mess it up. Not that I think this is gonna be bad. I think I'm gonna really like it, but there may be a learning curve and I don't think there will be with the Patrick Ta blushes. Pretty sure I'm gonna use not too much because it is going to be my color. I'm sure of it, yeah. That's gonna be it for me. So there's not too much. This is just enough. Don't think that's gonna be the one for me. Oh, it would be pretty though. And then I have She's Flushed, which I'm not gonna use for sure. I'm gonna use not too much. I mean, just the name goes with my look. So everything that I'm seeing about this blush is that you use the cream first. No, you use the powder first and then the cream. How does that make sense? I'm not sure. Let's try it. I'm gonna use the Nikki La Rose N15. Go into the blush first, like they say find very strange, but I haven't contoured. I'd like to cover those more actually. Can I cover those more? Hold on, I'm right into the hourglass today. I'm using the concealer and I just wanna get those darn things. There's one right here too. Not that anyone can see it. Tap that out. I get it? Kind of. I'm afraid as soon as I touch a blush or a bronzer to it, it's going to pop it right back out again. But I'll try. Maybe setting it with the blush will set it. So this is the powder first. Oh, that's pretty. Nice. <gasps> I like it just like that. I don't want to mess with it. I'm going to use Nikki La Rose N17 for the cream blush. The reason I'm using this is because it's nice and soft and flexible and I don't want to have too much cream because I really like it the way it is. So just tapping very carefully over top. There's my hair stuck.
they are coming out with nice blushes. Okay, are they even? I think so. I think that is blended to perfection, if I do say so myself. I always like to make sure that I didn't go too low down here. Pretty. Okay, lips. Oh, and lashes. <laughs> oh, bronzer. No, I need something here. I kind of like it without bronzer and contour on my cheeks, so I think I'm just gonna warm up my forehead. I'm gonna go back in with my Makeup Forever Wild Sand. I just know how pretty that is. I'm using one of the Beely brushes from the set I got on Amazon. I'm doing this to make sure that the focus is here. As soon as I put some darkness right in through here, the light is in the center. Mm. Maybe just a touch there. Just a hint, don't ruin it. I really like this lip too. I'm gonna leave that for a minute while I think about it and I wanna play with lashes. Did my eyelashes drop? I feel like they lost their curl a little bit. Will I be sorry? Probably. Do I ever go without saying that? There. What a difference. I had such a light coat of mascara on though that it didn't stick, so that's good. I like that better. These will be nice if I can get them to work. So I just wanna show you. This lash is longer in the middle. Can you see that? Which I really like for rounder eyes, which is what I have rounder eyes. They are a little long for me, so I'm gonna cut a little bit off the edge. So, hold on, I'll show you a little bit here. Maybe just one more. Let's see what happens. Everything is fine until I try to mess with the glue. That looks great. <laughs> Do I have to glue them? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. I'm gonna apply the glue right here. Whoops, ah, oh, shit. Doesn't that make more sense? So I'm not wrestling around with it? I guess we'll find out. Okay, wait for it to get tacky. Don't be impatient. So 30 seconds. Okay, wish me luck. Stick in the middle. Tuck the corners. Tuck the corner. Hey, did that work? Yay. Get down. Just wanna make sure it is as close to the lash as possible. I think I did it. Wow, I didn't know I had it in me. I think it's because I put the glue down first. This looks a bit wonky. Natural, a little elevated. Now I have to do my left eye. This should be interesting. Let's measure the other one. I want you to see, when I peeled it off, you can see that there's a bit of plastic there. Hope you can see that. Make sure you pull that off. A little bit of the glue that was holding the lashes to the plastic. Yeah, make sure that that glue is off. That won't look pretty. I'm actually gonna try one to be sure. Once it's off, I can't get it back on again. A Little bit at a time. Yeah, I'm glad I did that actually. I just remembered that. They're not perfectly symmetrical. It's hard not to get it on my actual mascara. Just treat it like an eyeliner. Whoops. Oh, get over there. Don't mess up. People who are really good at lashes are gonna look at me and go, what is your problem? 
Okay, you can see that the glue is starting to dry clear now, so I feel confident that it's gonna be okay. So, middle stick. Actually, I feel like I should do it over. Uh, get off of there. Why? Why do I have issues? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, middle. I think that's good. That's gonna be good. Get on there, you little bugger. I just aimed wrong the first time. A magnifying mirror is absolutely necessary. There, I did it again. Yay, I have talent, kinda. Oh my gosh, I need to go out on a date. And here I am with the lips again. I really like the lips. And I did this the other day and I made sure to not make it too dark. I just want to give my lips a bit of a shape, enhance them a little bit. I think Muted Mauve from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think that's going to work. Let's blot this off. This really is my lips, but better. I'm gonna fill it in just a bit. Now they just look overdrawn. Why do I do that? I'm gonna use this. It looked really nice. Let's see if I need any powder. Did I powder my concealer? Yeah, I did. I might just give it a little touch. This eye is definitely darker than this eye for some reason. Let's see if there's anything else. And a last tap of powder. This is coming off, why? Now a little bit of spray. I do see I'm a little bit shiny right here. So I wanna go over that just a touch with some powder. Right in there, you see where that texture is? I wanna make sure that that is not the focus. So any shine there is gonna bring that out. Maybe just a little bit right in there too. And a little on my zit. <laughs> I will continue to use this and show you different looks because I really want to get into this one. If you don't have these colors in your collection already and you want everything in one palette, beautiful. Buttery, soft, easy to blend. I hope you learned something today. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends, and I will see you later. Bye.